and I saw and beheld the pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and Hell followed with him. Inside my mind, I find these things inside the torture. Metaphors made from building the stores to maim and scorcher. Heat that rises higher than the core of the sun. A merciless but thirsty zombie killing rappers for fun. I walk and dawn into a field of burning corpses. Smell a rotten flesh and feel the energy absorbing. Through my veins and courses, the village is chasing me down with torches. They're scared and I can tell it by the quiver in their voices. I rock a black robe, ripping on a reaper scythe. The very images that makes it hard to sleep at night. Even in the hood, a stroll blowing out street lights. My mother's lying to the children, saying that. It'll be alright, but there ain't no escape. The reaper comes for everyone. Rich, poor, middle class, but never bargaining with none. I manifest the entropy that makes me proper fear, but see to me it sounded like a symphony. Death lives with every thought inside my head. I'm so obsessed until I see you all out dead. Death lives. I know you all afraid of me. It's all the plans you had, scared you're never going to live to see. Death lives with every thought inside my head. I'm so obsessed until I see you all out dead. Death lives. I know you all afraid of me. It's all the plans you had, scared you're never going to live to see. The superstitious fear, the soulless apparition, and mistaken for confirmation, the truth in their religion. But see, it's just the opposite. Cause when I go and speak about apocalypse, it means that I'm about to spit some toxic shit. The type of boss is about to scorch the planet. Even if it's doomed to granite, I was still a merge about that fucking casket. A walking zombie with the microphone, so never spend the night alone. And wait to find me rummaging inside your home. They say your pop is dead, but that shit doesn't bother me. Cause if it's really dead, then that shit now belongs to me. So don't you bash the touch it. No, you fuckers never loved it. It was standing on the edge of you, the ones that went and shoved it. The dead man, tombstone, avatar, death, battle hard and battle scene. Things you can't envision yet. People everywhere pretend they're not scared to spend their whole life for Avoided me until I'm right there. Death lives with every thought inside my head. I'm so obsessed until I see them all out there. Death lives. I know you all afraid of me. It's all the plans you had to get you never going to live to see. Death lives with every thought inside my head. I'm so obsessed until I see them all out there. Death lives. I know you all afraid of me. It's all the plans you had to get you never going to live to see. Joy to fall. the sink with the sirens dance the fine line being subtle joy that she gives to the eyes and the pride but denies the hands i find her glance it screams for me she knows i don't care tension so thick it divides all air space in between so night shared intimate energies no tight spare she leads me back like a deep book in my mind has her meat hooks last minute second thoughts of the bush breach now i want it all like a street crook who needs protection i want to get her pregnant start a family with this limitless exception zero in the trans finite her next kin she's timeless i couldn't tell you where her head's been uncomfortable numbers appear i'm there in one you figure eight you put that universe down and come here it's long in the bathe in our fevered embrace secrets of space deep ends of time flows to your body and reaches the mind the peace is sublime you pull away both of us know that this piece is a crime speak of divine and she will remind you that you barely exist by showing you countless deities already dead or dying in every abyss Bevy of risk, medley of bliss When she undulates, it's heavy and tense Sexy and fit, test me again You'll leave me satisfied, very content Get dug in this Mobius strip club Both know it isn't love, it's just lust More exploratory action, kiss stuff Ravage you like a savage, unjust Feel the wrath of the passions, pent up Come to terms with our status, thin fuss Obtaining this kind of passage, fringe luck Climaxes, madness, influx Tensions break, senses range I hear she slays, in a way that would offend the greats Literal take of the thinly draped Name the skate, bend or break Her favorite twist, challenge her place She'll savor it, crave intense Shame it is, see what you want to embrace 
look at you and find solace inside. Logic aside, bottomless all of the time. Laud it, calmly benign. Harmony hard to describe. Qualities, iterations to make Ptolemy cry. Launching me high, constantly calling the mind. One with the Omni and I, all in a raunchy disguise. Honestly, multiply by you when problems arise. Us moving closer is always a lie. Often a flaw in design. You shouldn't even be talking to eyes. I know infinity's greater than you. You throw back at me your neighboring truth. Painfully rude. They end up thanking me nude. What have you taken me to? Yeah. Sci-fi. Pitus. Grand Unified Theory. Twelfth Doc. It is unfortunate the poison it courses through your brain You're forcing a morbid form and sorting it all the same Horde diligence, ubiquitous differences, limitless possibilities When you profit from timidness A geosynchronous planet of panic is frantically granted A graphically made hammock hiding the havoc I'm thinking of trying, figuring if I can like surviving All of my time is spent denying, privatizing, yet relying Automatically empowering the tragedy you laugh at me theatrically Deception, oppress my obsession. Normally, I don't no matter where you are in the universe, we will find you. So let us guide you. All of our minds unified will resign from the human curse. Set our differences aside and forget the lies and wonder. No matter where you are in the universe, we will find you. So let us guide you. All of our minds unified will resign from the human curse. Set our differences aside and yeah. forget the lies and wonder. Your lies. Doors hanging from lures in a DeLorean framing a tour so we can explore their origins. Surely know what you're signing up for Before we're climbing the board We're prone to warp and disorient Need deep or no signs of a hordes Even the tiny gets more So from the fleet is exciting endorphins Plenty more to find and absorb Reading science and horror fiction novels Seeding enlightening portions Stimulate my sensors for what should fare Just an hip flare Not an adventure cause I live there Retirement in a simulated environment Exoskeleton skin plated Won't even fry your dance No fiber bits but a blend Thread of the trivial Composer by the lens with the Advanced meta material. Oh, how I grin when the land dwellers would ridicule. No one now and then did the chance set up a no matter where you are in the universe. We will find you, so let us guide you. All of our minds unified will resign from the human curse. Set our differences aside and forget the lies and wonder. No matter where you are in the universe, we will find you, so let us guide you. All of our minds unified will resign from the human curse. Set our differences aside and forget the lies and wonder your lives. I'm inadvertently yearning. Concerning, but searching for something other than hurting, concerning me hurting. Past the shit, harassed a bit. A classic mash of a distant mission, mass to win. It's not obvious, all of you in the audience calling all of the cockiest people to bring you godliness. I'll leave this immodestly haunted by honesty, commonly, logically, onto me, properly as you want to be. I was left and lost, the best it costed all of it. But if I could caution all of you, acknowledge this. Alter this economy, provide the populace a bottomless cognizance of unstoppable dominance with the consciousness. Or you will lose the movement of fluid that's usually suited to keep you rooted. Don't ruin it cause you're human with stupid shit. We acknowledge but you want nothing to do with it. No matter where you are in the universe, we will find you so let us guide you. All of our minds unified will resign from the human curse. Set our differences aside and forget the lies and wonder no matter. you amusing for a while the people of this city but the one thing they love more than a hero is to see a hero fail fall die try in spite of everything you've done for them eventually they will hate you Go see the ass is cookie cut if you could have get used to rough around the edges break the rules on need to speak the truth and it's never in the format that's designed to make you comfortable for those who criticize my methods i've heard enough of you 
rapper. No capes, no catchphrases, no smiley faces, no tolerance for your ignorant statements. And zero patience for that bullshit that y'all stay with. So I attack it frequently, but no cut cards, cause you frauds, we lack decency. In fact, don't even speak to me. I'm busy on my mission to make things the way they need to be. A vigilante secretly, moving unseen and uninhibited. Unrestrained, so I'm not limited. In the ways the justice is distributed, I watch the way you pick it in. And set outside marching with your little size, wasting time, but nothing changes. That's what times call for desperate measures. If you're not about it, they gon' shrug their shoulders. No matter how loud you go and shout it, they can make a pretty speech. And it be all lies. So when I speak the truth, these people want me tongue tied. Sometimes the rules are weak because it helps the wrong side. So fuck the good guys. I'd rather be an anti hero. 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 See, this is how the problem starts. The evil villains are at large, but get away with everything because the villains are in charge. You get mad at me because my language you feel is so hard, but somehow can't get angry at people that kept you down hard. It's crazy because the lazy ones will use this language every day, but do it to a beat and watch them curse you for the things you say. Censor all of your thoughts, and even if they feel the same way, or both you for a show, but then get scared and say you can't play. My music is my anger manifest and flowing constantly. And just because you're not enraged, it don't mean something's wrong with me. It means that something's wrong with you, or maybe everything is cool and you don't mind the things that's going on cause you're a fucking fool. I think you're too accepting of the fuckery shenanigans. So when I overturn the apple cart, you start to panic again. Imagine if men not scared of conflict started vanishing. You wouldn't fight to save your life. You stand there like a man again. They can make a pretty speech and it be all lies. So when I speak the truth, these people want me tongue tied. Sometimes the rules are weak because it helps the wrong side. So fuck the good guys. I'd rather be an anti-hero. 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 I'd rather be an anti-hero I'd rather be an anti-hero now there's a time for conversation, but there's a time for getting gritty and shooting arrows to their face, and then you fail this city. You can dance around these issues diplomatic if you want to, but the villain's not respecting that shit, and it will stun on you. Spit a crazy monologue about how they're above the law, because the world just needs to die, they're the ones to do it all. But everything around you falls, and you're succumbing to your fear. The last thing that you hear is this laughter that's ringing in your ears. Fuck that, I'm coming through blazing, with your guns gripping, clipping, put the bad guy in the ground all while he was eagle tripping. Then go out the fire escape and dash down alleyway by dodging those police helicopters that want to make me pay ignoring all discussions about tactics and repercussions fuck them just the only justice i know because the system bluffing if you really knew what i knew you do the same thing to every preacher fake politician that tried to play king they can make a pretty speech and it be all lies so when i speak the truth these people want me tongue-tied sometimes the rules are weak because it helps the wrong side so fuck the good guys i'd rather be an anti-hero i'd rather be an anti-hero i'd rather be an anti-hero Extra P and Entropy, prelude to issue zero. Enter the apocryphal, musings of a different tune. Some are in the omniverse, deep within the infinitude. The great debate, unification the topic. Gray of the extropians, Malik the entropic. Two civilizations who differ greatly. Two similar ambition, two different on issues stately. Fundamentally disagree with hopes to blend. Stances on it divided, but still remain the closest friends. A kinship grown back centuries with the strength of the pack never wavering in intensity. I am symmetry, he's reward and penalty. The last extropian together with Lord Entropy. The realm traversed in eldritch search and shells within purpose, hellish concepts of self emergence. One scientist and scholar as the other walks the fine line between emperor and father. Truly profound is their duty bound gift the musings drown. We are their doppelgangers in sound. E and E, blowing through your deities. Known to use quintessence fuel technologies to flee the scene. Question, are you the author or the author? This story is the answer to a question very few offered. This is a saga, one that is potentially full of drama that redefines reality in a way that produces trauma. And as it continues, everything you thought you knew about the nature of reality will suddenly become unglued. Scientific fiction mixed and blended with an action view put together in a way that very few indie comics do. 
We are majestic. It's a conflict born of a dichotomy. It's one building a weapon that's capable of atrocities. The other wielding a tool of defense to challenge ferocities. Calculating equations that are staggering velocity. they two bands, two roles combining the fate now foretold. They're lost spanning the multiverse, person the cosmic threshold. Alternate realities, universes are casualties. While elders pushes closer to omniversal calamity. The great collapse, and yes, perhaps they find a way to stop and change the optic. Failure's not an option, yo, it's catastrophic. Most of life is so myopic, living life. I'm so unaware, if they knew battles waged on their behalf, they might just die from fear. Love crafty and horror, whole reality's martyred. A threat that encompasses every tale of gods and monsters. Why these who fight with honor, so there's no reason to ponder. My fate has chosen them to be galactic first responders. A war fought on every plane of existence, with warriors that only know the path of greater resistance. But meanwhile, in their home universe, conditions only getting worse. They have to make it back before it all disperses. Question, what is the nature of existence? Razor in the distance on different ways you can spin this. This is endless and omni evolves. This is our premise. Explored through a story of glory, loss, and friendship. Tested over many trials, plenty smiles. Sacrifice and ambition of many styles. With structure, a glorious tale emerges. We produce these books with the music that take you furthest. Ha, gray of extropia. Ah, yeah. Grand unified, Lord in for legion. Prelude majestic comics. We are majestic. Question. Are you the author or the author? An omni of all. What is the nature of existence? Yeah, the people suddenly become unclear. This is the saga. Are you the author or the author? This is endless. What is the nature of existence? Clang. Peace, peace to the unified theory. Hopefully everybody out there is doing well. What a day. <laughs> what a day. You know, this day started early. And uh, the goals started large. But before we get into all that, go ahead and smash the like button. Second edition Norch, if you're able or you desire. If not, don't even worry about it. Um, it's just crazy. We got a lot to talk about. Shout out to my uh, partner in rhyme, Tombstone the Dead Man. Shout out to the whole Majestic Comics entity who behind the scenes have been busting their ass. Um, I will definitely name off a few people in a bit, but... It's just crazy. So let's get into the, the right frame of mind. Get some Norch on. As you can tell, I'm in my my Carrick office here. It's much better than my 890 office. But hopefully when they do the Polaris, there's a better captain's office there. I can film that. It looks a lot better. All right. Well, if you guys are joining me, cheers. We have a lot to talk about, um, the title, the description, all that stuff is there. But uh, yeah, cheers. So, in the time that it took me to post the, in the time it took me to post the, the links everywhere and the titles everywhere and the descriptions everywhere and the hashtags everywhere, we got one more backer and um, 
I have it on pretty good authority that we're probably going to get a couple more backers by the end of the night. But we've been climbing, making our way towards 200. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to the Patreon, that's still a thing. But I won't plug that during the Kickstarter campaign, except then. Um, but about the Kickstarter backer, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. If you can't and you can just share the link, that's all we ask. Sometimes it's not about money. And I'm not dismissing anybody who has pledged. I'm not dismissing anybody who is, uh, you know, I don't want to call it donating because you're getting something for your pledge. So it's not like you're donating. Um, but anyone who has bought into this comic book and this business, because really what you're doing here. You're not buying into the comic book, right? That's not what you're doing. It, the comic book is window dressing for the business. And you're taking a chance and investing in the business. And that is what I think a lot of... Don't get me wrong. I love the story. A lot of people love the story. But I don't think that's why we all are doing this. We love the story, but we also love a success story and a story that succeeds. We know it's a good story. We know it's great art. And so what I think people are excited about is showing the world that this is really, really good. And we want to be able to show people that, hey, it's not just Marvel in DC. It's not just two, you know, Pepsi or Coke. There's other people in the space who are doing things that are, you know, their own way. So I love the fact that Grand Unified has gotten behind Majestic Comics. This is very much a Grand Unified project. It is the first business to ever be spawned out of Grand Unified, really. I mean, not that, that I'm aware of. Um, and I think we want to be authentic. I know Tombstone is a very authentic dude. Thank you for that backer. We're at 155. Tombstone is as authentic as they come. And as a person who wants to just produce quality material at the highest level to honor the people who came before him in the space, like, I feel like as long as we can get it in front of enough people, there's going to be the space and the audience to recognize that and with all the hard work he's done all the hard work structures done like all of this art that we're pushing wouldn't even be possible without structure for him to be able to take these ideas from our heads take these worlds from our minds and be able to bring them to life to give them life That's crazy to me. I've had many of stories, you know, and some, some, some of you guys have read my little short stories and stuff, but they've never been brought to life. I've never had a story brought to life. So that is the most fulfilling aspect about all of this. Is that part ideas you know they're living entities like any other like any other life and I feel like you know some are fed and they grow and become big ideas and they thrive and others are starved and they're starved out and those ideas die and I hope we have a really good idea about what experiencing a comic book should be and I hope that idea becomes a big idea because I feel like that's what we're trying to do. So if you haven't um, pledged, if you haven't uh, bought, picked up your copy of issue one, Clash of Consequence, Extropy and Entropy, MajesticComics.com slash Kickstarter. Hey, the fact that we're about to even approach 9K. I mean, I heard someone in here talking about 10K. Listen, I appreciate it that you guys even are counting ahead. 
But even in sports, you know, we're not even counting that game until we, we actually make our mark in the game that we're playing right now. And the game that we are playing right now is 9,000. So we are $394 away from 9K. And even if we don't do it tonight, that goal is within sight and we have 15 days remaining. Let's talk about the barriers, though. I think all of us are impressed and we enjoy the fact that a project of ours, a home cooked organic project of ours is gaining this level of momentum. But I got to say, we've had a lot of pushback. We've had a lot of algorithmic pushback. And you have to ask yourself, like, who is this designed for? Galandari, peace, peace. Like, who is this designed for? These barriers. Like, what is this designed to prevent? Trolls, spam. I still get spam. I still get trolls. I know exactly what spam is on Facebook. I know exactly what a troll is on Facebook. So obviously you're not preventing them. And, and for them to say, well, it's a lot harder. No, it's not. I see it actually quite often. You just have to know where to look and know what to click on. And you'll trust me, you'll get all that bullshit. Facebook has it. But making it difficult for me to directly message people who have already added me as a friend because they're interested in what I have to say. Even if I didn't, if I, if I stopped at, they added me as a friend because they wanted to. Once you establish that this person is my friend, I should be able to send that person as anything that I want. They should be able to send me anything that I want as long as it's not something that, you know, comes straight to my computer and I can accept it or something like that. Like a message though, a message with a link and that's a friend, but I can't send it to them. Oh, come on, y'all. That's booty. <laughs> that's extra booty. Let me switch to my uh, monologue cam real quick. That's extra booty. So, and, and, and then here's the thing. What Tombstone says is very true. They make it difficult for legitimate businesses and relationships to send messages like it, it, it. They create these barriers so that you have to pay them. And look, I understand they have to monetize. But that right there is why they are dinosaurs and they won't be around much longer. The first AI generated social media site that comes on that people want to pick up on because there's a group of people already who want to migrate from Twitter who want to migrate from Facebook, who want to migrate from a bunch of these social media sites, LinkedIn or whatever. Actually, LinkedIn's okay. I'm going to leave LinkedIn out of it. LinkedIn's actually okay. Um, And then there's that, right? Like, we actually do pay Facebook for boosting. And they'll still limit us. So... It's crazy. Cosmic says, I'm hoping safe uh, 10K before the end of the weekend. Yeah. 10K before the night ends? Oh, man. That would be crazy. If we could get 10K, so that would, what, be 1300 bucks. I mean, we, we have the metal covers. We got metal covers of issue 0 and 1, and they're fresh as fuck. here look at that I'm telling you dog well you can't really there you go hear that hear that now nah, i got the the plastic on it so you know i'm not really fucking with it but yeah dog and don't touch it with your your greasy ass fingers either you want to have some gloves on if you actually touch it but that's why we're gonna all right i'm not gonna say nothing but still metal cover huh huh and, and imagine the new cover. Imagine, oh, imagine 
the Leighton Buxton cover on metal? <laughs> it's gonna be too stupid. I could I could sell a hundred thousand of those. Anyway. I wouldn't bother paying to boost on Facebook. Yeah, it's horse shit. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's, it's, it, it really is. But there are things that sometimes you do have to pay for, even though it's bullshit, you know, ransom. <laughs> so. So what's crazy, though, also is that it's not just Facebook. But it also, and I don't want to speak this into existence, but hopefully they don't try to limit my ability to do this on Instagram. But like, it's sending a direct message. So then I'll go to Instagram, which is also owned by Facebook or owned by Meta or whatever the fuck they're calling themselves these days. And I'll message people directly. People that I know, people who've messaged me before, everybody who's added me and, talk, and you know, reached out to me first. Hey, man, I like your music. Hey, I like, you know, I, I really mess with you and GU. And, oh, man, I heard about you through Tombstone. It's like, okay, well, these are all people who we can, we should be able to talk to regularly. So on Instagram, I have no problem doing that. And I'm able to send messages to people like, you know, hey, have you checked this out? Hey, what's up? Have you, have you heard about this? And most people be like, no, I haven't heard of it. Haven't seen it all. In fact, I haven't heard about you in years. It's just like, wait, what? I didn't release three albums or whatever, right? Like somebody the other day was like, are you ever going to come out with any new music? I'm like, bro, I just released an album six months ago. Like, <laughs> don't get me wrong. I love the fact that you're looking for new music. But yeah, no, I just put some shit out. And I just put some shit out before with other artists and, you know, that whole thing. So, uh, but yeah, it, it is one of those sort of wonky aspects about all of this. And I think in a couple years, we're going to be looking back on this and be like, remember we started on Kickstarter? Remember we started on Patreon? Remember we started going to conventions and approaching strangers and asking them, hey, I like your costume. Could you read my comic? Right. Could you check out my app? There's a there's so many people you can literally just walk up to at a comic book convention and you could show them what you're working on and they'll be open to it. As long as you're not being rude, as long you guys have seen me when I be walking around on stream at the comic book convention and people will stop me and be like, oh, man, I like your, your Starfleet uh, costume. Can I take a you know, can I take a picture or whatever? Some people will actually recognize me. You guys have been on stream and seen people actually recognize me on stream. Hey, man, are you great and square? I'm like, who wants to know? <laughs> you guys actually saw that in real time. The video might still be up. Um. I was in Vegas when that happened. It's pretty hilarious. Don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, don't forget to share. There's all sort of things you can do to support this community. You know, if you want to add us on Spotify, you know, follow me on Spotify. Spot, follow Tombstone. Follow, you know, Extra P and Entropy the Artist. Follow all the GU artists. Follow the GU playlist. You know, there's there's so many things that you can do. And we haven't even gotten into merch yet because, I, I mean, I got only so much bandwidth <laughs> but it's like there's so many different things and we do all of this for the same reason 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 that we started doing this which is to educate and inform through creativity right and this is a way for us to continue that mission right i mean that is Obviously, there's the underlying mission of trans intellectualism and trying to, you know, help humanity and be a part of humanity's transition towards type one, which I think I think will be a part of. Right. But. The way we do that is we use our creativity to educate and inform. Uh, plan for the year after that. That's all right. But the conventions are awesome. So I wonder if we're going to get to 160 tonight because we're at 155 right now. Yeah, <laughs> I see that. I see that. Somebody uh, tried to aim for 666 the other day and missed it by a dollar. It was hilarious. And I think they were in the chat, too. And they were like, yo, I tried to aim for that shit. And I missed. And I'm like, that's hilarious. I appreciate it, though. Nice little ironical thing. Maybe it was God.
tombstone. You say about to get another one? <laughs> Karma, how you doing? You said 667 is the neighbor of the beast. <laughs> That's pretty good. Paul Jackson, thank you. <clears throat> Was there a comment that I missed from you? Oh, the trend. Well, let's find out. Let's find out, shall we? All right. So right now, I'm going to mute this. Right now, as it stands, 15 days to go, 155 backers, 8,606 dollars, and we just reached the halfway point, which is crazy. So I want to thank every single person who pledged their hard-earned money in the time pointing towards recession. And people really stretch to the margins to put a little faith in an unknown, unproven comic book companies with, you know, two people you don't have to give a shit about. Like, we really appreciate that. And we're going to deliver. I promise you, we're going to deliver. In a couple of years, we're going to look back and be like, oh shit, I can't believe Majestic is doing X, Y, and Z. Yep, that's coming. Hell, <laughs> And in about a week or so, we'll know something. I mean, you know, you know, we may know something in a week or so, but, you know, we are really pushing the brand. And I do believe, I do believe that the next Kickstarter for issue two, we may be able to raise 100K like and remember like this is all just like launching our comics and selling our issues this isn't doing anything crazy but because we have the community that we have and the belief from that community that we have and the investment in the story because now i'm starting to hear people message me and they're like yo man so uh is uh is zillith like this uh yo man tell me more about uh gray yo what's up with malari how long, you know, how long have they been together? And like, you know, you, you start talking about like, you know, chaos and, and decayus, like, you know, they, they seem more like sister or brother than, than they do cousins. So I was like, no, nah, I don't know if you've ever, you know, had that cousin. Like I, I, I've actually met a couple cousins of mine who I really didn't get along with like that. So they feel more of like a cousin relationship to me, especially in a monarchical system. Tombstone could tell you a lot more about that. I'm sure he can dig uh, trope deep into some entropic history but uh, yeah it's just one of those things where people are starting to become more invested in the story more invested in the technology in the story more invested in the science and the rules of the reality and why we use certain words why do we use the word omniverse instead of universe or you know why do we use the word you know reality and, and, and instead of let's say multiverse and those sort of things because we kind of define those things a little bit differently in these stories and it's it's it is something that is is intentional. I'll say that. It is extremely intentional. Did we just get another one? Is that 156? Did that just happen? Did weren't we at just 155? We're at 8816, 8816. Or am I just high? I could be just high. You know what the cure for that is? Smoke more weed. Second edition, second edition, Norch, engage when ready. Unless you can't, then don't worry about it. Cheers.
Yeah, I didn't even notice it. I was going on. I was going on one of my monologues. I think somebody was aiming for 8888. I think someone is aiming for 8888. But 8876 is pretty goddamn pretty goddamn good. I do believe we will hit 160 tonight. And that may push us into the 8900 range. So I expect to close the night at around like 163, 165, somewhere around there. But this weekend, I do expect somewhat of a pullback. Like I look at this a lot like stocks and shit. You know what I'm saying? There's always there's a there's a pump and then there's a pullback. You know? Uh, the Dane, if you go to MajesticComics.com forward slash Kickstarter, that's the best place because it'll take you straight here. If I tell you what this link is, what is it? Kickstarter.com slash project slash Kelby Cross slash Extropy and Entropy slash false slash Chin slash. You don't want that. Trust me. What you want is MajesticComics.com slash Kickstarter just rolls off the tongue it's really easy you can tell someone they're like oh man that sounds pretty good it didn't sound like anything i would forget after smoking a bowl you know what i'm saying so but uh also we have to give shouts out to you know a lot of people who've been working with us um you know shout out to web agent shout out to um to our homie lloyd uh Shout out to, who am I missing? Tombstone, help me out. Um, Shout out to Maylee, social media person. Um, Shout out to Gabe Sandoval, our colorist. Shout out to SK, our letterer. Um, Shout out to to Jacob Knapp, Power Move Marketing. Um, Damn, who am I missing? I feel like I'm missing somebody. And they're gonna be mad at me. I'm they're gonna be watching right now. They're like, man, you missed me. <laughs> Sorry, man. I'll catch you next time. I'll get you on Monday. Oh, yeah. Uh, shout out to Mother Demon for being an alpha reader. Absolutely. Shout out to all the alpha readers. Appreciate you. So it is pretty awesome though, but we still have 15 days to go. So like a marathon, we do celebrate the fact that we've gotten halfway through the marathon, but I think a marathon is technically 26.4 miles. How long is a marathon? I'm sure someone in here will fact check me. It's 26 miles, 26 point something. Okay. 26.2. I mean, so 13 and a half miles in we are. We are 13 and a half miles in. And we still have half of the marathon to go. So, if you've already contributed, then don't worry about it. The the best thing that you could do at this point, if you want to continue to, to be involved, is share um i think if you know people who might be interested in it if you know people in the age range or the demographic that we also want to reach because i remember like i i kind of make this we make this story and this comic for different reasons but i know the story that i write i would have been interested in when i was 15 16 17 18 years old right maybe when i was 13 it might have been a little bit too advanced for me because i was still in like power rangers and shit (laughs) <laughs> no, I'd say even a little bit earlier than that. I say like 11 or 12. I was still in the Power Rangers. When I got about 13, I started getting into like some kind of trouble, truancy type street shit. And then by fucking 14, 15, it was like, it was all bad. But um, 
yeah, it's it's pretty crazy if if we think about it. Are you a marathon runner? Damn, Paul. Have which uh, marathons have you run? Which city marathons have you run? So we are currently trending towards 870% of our goal. Come on, y'all. Stop it. Do you know what we can do with this? With this comic book? I'm telling y'all. The quality that's coming out. The shit we're going to do. Like, we got apps that we're making. We got like... Like... 3D VR projects that we're working on. We like this shit is is crazy. Um if we reach 870% of our goal, that would be pretty insane and I think we could make a lot happen with that. But I'm not negating the fact that we've already raised even this this is not even accurate. This is this has 152 backers. What is what is it? Oh, it's not updated. So this updates after a while. But we do have 15 hours. Or I'm sorry, 15 days, 16 hours, and 51 minutes to go left. So a thousand percent would be insanity. You know, 400 percent. For we okay, we've passed 420%. That's amazing in and of itself. Hendry, what's up? Peace, peace. Uh, don't forget, if you haven't followed the Majestic Comics YouTube page, please follow that because we do stream from there from time to time and some people miss it and they're like, hey, what happened? I didn't see you stream. And I'm like, oh, we streamed from Majestic today. But I do put it out on all my my um social media. But like, again, behind all these paywalls and all these algorithmic suppression blockers and shit so hey power move you're a part of that too bro you're a part of the brand too bro we appreciate you we appreciate all the work everybody in the company's doing so we really we really appreciate you um that's like i i want you know there's there's this always this worry about a company getting too big too fast and i have to be concerned with that like us in the ownership group you know, we set these small goals for ourselves, but, you know, a lot of companies will stumble at those goals and we'll be like, damn, you know, the fact that we actually even achieve these things and we're still alive, like the fact that <laughs> we're still alive, like every every time we're back, it's like, damn, we're still alive. We're still doing it. And it gets bigger and bigger. And, and the attitude is like, yo, we're still alive. So I feel like we're at a point where we're going to stop saying we're still alive and really start aiming for some pretty high shit. I got some pretty crazy goals with this comic book company. Like I really want some things to 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 be experienced with us you can't experience in other places. That's what I'll say. Um I can't wait to show you guys. It's not something I can really talk about publicly too much, but it's still if we get this right it, it it's it's it we change the game. Like we change it. It's like it's like adding a three point line to the NBA. What happened? Up another one one point five K. Oh, you talking about from uh yesterday? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Cause you were yeah, you were around yesterday. I was like, wait, what happened? Uh, perfect time to be a comic book creator yeah yeah no it is and I do feel like there's a couple of things we have to acknowledge when it comes to this a comic book is a type of entertainment right <clears throat> and it is a non necessity so when you start talking about in crisis situations very few people are grabbing their comic books although I know some people <laughs> I'm not going to name any names who would probably grab the comic books they're like, I'm getting the comic books. Forget y'all. Um, but there's nothing wrong with that because there's certain things in there here I would probably grab before people too. So I got like hard drives I would grab. Just grab all the hard drives, rip all the hard drives out. I'm out of here. You know what I mean? Uh, but it's still like, it's still something people want. People want good stories 
that take them away from the world that they can follow along with. That's good, well thought out, layered characters, interesting characters, interesting relationships. We still have the ability to find people who are interested in, you know, hey, money's tight right now, but you know what? I can spend five dollars on a P- on a PDF issue just to read this next issue, just to support you guys. You know what I mean? Like there are people who say that. We've we've gotten messages from people who say that. Like, and I'll tell people, man, like, hey, if it's that tight around the margins, don't worry about it, man. Like, trust me, we'll make sure you can get it. We'll make sure you can read it in due time. Like, we definitely want to prioritize the people who fund us. But like, if I know you're a real big fan and you're like, hey, man, I just you know shit is tough right now, and I'm like, all right, man, I got you. Don't even worry about it. Like, we're that type of group. We're that type of community. And we may not always get along. I get it. There are always times where you're dealing with people personalities and that's just the nature of being human. But when we are aligned and we have this sort of drive and motivation, 8,000 ain't shit. We can raise 80 fucking thousand. And we're going to do it. That's going to happen. So take that for what it's worth. Let's see here. So as far as this trending is concerned, if you look at these charts, you know, we, there is a trend that YouTube, or I'm sorry, YouTube, that kicks, hold on, let me change this out. Let's see. Okay. So there's a trend that Kickstarters usually take where it's like you get a, a mass influx in the beginning and then there's a massive drop off, right? So the pump and the dump, not not that it, there's a real dump. I'm just using these particular terms. Hey, the Dane, much appreciated. You just pledged? Oh, damn, I need to check the new numbers. Um, so we should be at 157, right? All right, there's significance to the number 159, but <laughs> we won't go there. Um so this chart you know we were able to raise what 2000 i'm gonna zoom in here real quick so we were able to raise basically three thousand dollars on day one right and then dropped off to 210 right and this is before I really started like messaging people. I, I wasn't messaging anybody at this point. Like I just was kind of, we were we were doing it the traditional way, right? We were trying to, you know, make sure that the algorithm saw us and we were posting it regular posts and hey, come check us out. It's like, no, that's not how people, people, people want to be closed, if you will. People want to know that you're not just a, they're not just a faceless transaction. There is no person who purchases a majestic comic title or issue who is just a faceless transaction. That doesn't exist. Not as long as any of the triune is breathing. That is not a thing. Every single person is a part of building this entity and has a a, a voice. And, you know, you may not be able to change the story, but you can say what you like and what you don't. And that probably is going to affect what we do in a lot of ways. If we know we make a decision that's like man the people really didn't like the way we did that first we're gonna know like damn the fact that people really didn't like that is crazy but we're also gonna be like yo we should probably consider our fans the next time maybe they're not gonna like that decision to you know to raise the price of the hoodie you know ten dollars or you know to 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 discontinue this particular line of thing or this product we you know there there are things that customer bases don't respond well to And so I always want to make sure that we are doing things that you guys want that is not only affordable, but also lasts, that has longevity, that's durability. You know, our our material and shit's not falling apart. Like the reason why I haven't really, really promoting the shirts and the hoodies is because I've been really durability testing them. You know, making sure that like they're they're strong. These motherfuckers can this. I, I've had this same one washed it like whatever eight, twelve times since I've got you know opened this one up. I do open some of these 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 ones up because I just gotta. Uh, we do have a bunch of them, so you guys should order from majesticcomics.shop our hoodies. Um, yeah, a hoodie that stands up to the hood. That's pretty good. So there is uh, there is an element of like 
just pro- trying to provide a good product while also maintaining that relationship with the with the person, the supporter, the customer, whatever you want to call them. And I know that's very capitalistic of me and all that type of stuff. And I know a lot of people don't like that, but it is a part of creating a good business. And if you want people to stick around, that's a part of it. Just good business shit. So, um, so then we, we obviously had a dip. We had, you know, between 210, 90, 171, Twelve dollars one day, and that's a, look. And this person, I'm the most thankful to this person. Whoever donated twelve dollars on that day, like I'm most thankful for you, because that was the day you know that we could have been like, man, I don't know if the maybe the Kickstarter is not going to pick back up steam, and maybe we should, um, you know, maybe we should do something else. And it was like, nah. When we saw it that day, we were like, we're going to stay the course. We're going to stay the fucking course. Like, at the end of the day, we know there are people out there who want to see it. It's the algorithms and all the bullshit of social media that prevents them from actually seeing our shit. There's very few people, not to say that we're, we're batting a thousand because we're not batting a thousand, but there's very few people I walk up to at, a, at, at Dragon Con, and we will be at Dragon Con this year. Yes, we will. Um, there's very few people I walk up to at, at Dragon Con and be like, yo, hey, uh, you, first of all, your cosplay is sick. Second of all, can you check out this comic? 30 seconds. Tell me what you think. They open it up. Oh, it's beautiful. Damn, it's covered. This is you? The first thing they ask. This is you? That's the most common question we get is, this is you? It's like, yeah, man, this is us. And then we, you know, we, we're trying to kick it. We, you know, we're trying to push the brand so that even if they don't buy it, they remember us. So when we come back next year, we're like, oh, man, I, I remember y'all from last year. Man, let me get one. Let me get two of them. You know, it's just that. Building up that consistency and the visibility of something you really believe in. If I didn't believe in this shit, man, I can't sell something I don't believe in. That's my flaw as a salesman. That's my flaw as a Ferengi. If I can't sell it, if I don't believe in it, I can't sell it. And some people can sell some shit they don't believe in. That's called a politician. You know what I'm saying? Most people who sell shit they don't believe in are probably either actors or politicians. So... Uh, it's a balance between making decisions that's best for the business and the readers and the art. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the Dane, thank you for contributing and pledging. You said Tombstone's in the house. Huge fan. Yeah, man. You know, what's funny is I, I a lot. So I do a lot of interviews and I meet with a lot of people. Uh, it's kind of the part of the, the company that I, I tend to oversee. And a lot of people who don't know rap because they're just not in this scene, but they're in the comic book scene. They don't know that a lot of Tombstones fans are not just Graden Square fans. They were a whole different set of fans that basically coalesced with my fans during a certain time in, in hip hop history, like in the late 2000s. And so a lot of them don't even understand that it isn't even just the people who listen to me. It's the people who listen to, to both of us who have contributed to these numbers. He's been sharing uh links and and messaging people i've been sharing links and messaging people structure's been sharing links uh sk gabe sandoval like the colorist and the letterer has been sharing it in private groups and stuff that's how much people believe in it so for us it's easy for me to sell a a, a product or a title or ip that i believe in so um you said uh your message made my day also, that shirt looks very similar to an old RVD shirt. Rob Van Dam. Doc, he's living his best life right now. You talk about a motherfucker living his best life. Oh, yeah, Leighton Buxman. Yeah, she uh, she shared it. It's crazy. It is totally okay. And if you can't, I'm not even like... I, no one is going to, to knock anyone who can't contribute now because there's always going to be another Kickstarter... Like, this is the way we launch our products. It's the way of, like, having... We're using Kickstarter as a store. Think about it that way. Every time we have a new issue, Kickstarter is our store. We can come out with our comic book stuff, right? Whether it's metal issues or special issues or, you know, soon we're going to have other stuff we can't talk about right now, but we're going to. Trust me, you're going to want it. Um, And we could do all that stuff here and basically sell it through our own site. And so many people do this. If you look at Kickstarter right now, 
some of the projects that are over a hundred thousand dollars is pretty insane it's pretty goddamn insane and that's not to say i don't believe in those project those products or those projects but it's like if he can get a hundred thousand dollars for that we can get seven hundred thousand for the comic like jesus christ But you know the, contri- the, the the contribution you can make, if you can, is just to share it. If you can share it on social media, to me, it's the same as, as giving us $5. It's the same as giving us a dollar. It's the same as giving us $10. Trust me, the algorithms see that. That's why they block us now is because, you know, there, not a lot of people share our stuff. But at the end of the day, we're, we don't make stuff to be shared on social media just to manipulate the algorithms. That's never been a thing for us. We've always just wanted people to like our music. Hey, man, you like the way I spit? You like the song I wrote? Yeah, cool. All right, great. You know, hopefully I get paid for that. But I didn't want to make songs just to flip the algorithms, just so they can give me a bunch of shares. So it's like, fuck all that. I don't want to do that shit. That's butt. I'll pay you in hash coins. (laughs) Have sight. What's up, man? How you doing? You know what's funny is we could get paid in crypto. I mean, we do have a um, we do have a we do have a company crypto wallet. If I'm not mistaken. Pay me in satoshis. All right, so let me go through this real quick because I'm sure this is bleeding on your eyes. This super white background. So we go through one, two, three, four, five, six days of under, well. Of under 210, which is, I'm not downplaying that, but just in the context of what we've been doing. Then we had a spike of 666, and then, of course, a drop off. I think this has something to do with either a pay cycle. This feels like a pay cycle. One, so let's say this is the pay cycle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That feels like a pay cycle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could feel this one, but I feel like a lot of this is the kind of per- personal promotion and marketing that we've done between everybody in the company over the last four days. Like we, we have, we knew as a company we were going to kick into another gear. Like we knew it. We had a meeting. We had several meetings about it. Tombstone was working on on what he was working on i was working what i was working on structure was working on and everybody in the company knew we were this is the month this is a release month and i gotta say we knocked it out of the fucking park we really did so props to everybody in the company because every time it's like we we deliver and we're gonna keep on delivering that's what we do that's what majestic does Dan Hope says, I like the system you have between Patreon and Kickstarter. Not to brag, but I'm fortunate enough that I can contribute to both. I am very glad I can because I believe in what you all are doing. And that's why we don't really try to shame anybody for not there. You know, there are are channels that will shame people for not like super chatting and shit. You know, there are people who will do that. Like, man, y'all, y'all ain't got the super chats, man. Forget y'all. Y'all ain't got the like ups, man. I ain't doing this shit tonight. It's like, bro, really? And I guess that's how they shame their people into but it's like for us, it's not about that. We, I would rather you have a, be a. This is gonna sound shitty. I'd rather you be a broke ass fan of the comic. You know what I'm saying? Did did a a rich guy who's like, oh yeah, I can just throw money at anything, but I don't really give a shit about the comic. You know, I. If you don't really care about what we're doing in us, you can keep your money. Like we got it. We're cool. It's just gonna take us a little longer because we just gotta sell. You know, do hip hop shit, sell hoodies and. You know, sell t-shirts and shit. You know what I'm saying? Whoop a nigga ass or two. You know, you got to do hip-hop shit to get this shit on. But at the end of the day, you got the strategy. You got the formula where if they don't, if you don't want to give your soul away, it just takes you longer. If you don't want to sell out, it just will take you longer. It's not impossible. It just takes longer. So, and the fact that we're living in the age of AI helps a lot. So... (laughs) Uh, the Patreon is patreon.com slash Majestic Comics. And we are on an uptick on those, too. I think we're at 128, if I'm not mistaken. All right. So, um, and then finally, the last three days, which are, are wonderful days, to be honest with you. I am not dismissing this at all. $709, $1309, $1339. And I think we're going to eclipse that today. So... 
That's a good question. When's the new Majestic Music uh, podcast coming? Uh, we need to figure that out because we haven't done one in like a month and a half. But we, we usually when we have a Kickstarter come around, like we don't do kick, we don't do Majestic Musings, and most people kind of accept it and they're cool with it. But we should be better about that because we did tell you guys on on Patreon that we would release one every month, and we really haven't missed one except for during Kickstarter Patreon campaign. So we'll give you two next month. How about that? I'm always down to give you more content. But check this out. The backers per day going up, like, that's crazy. Twelve, ten, twenty, or that's not ten, that's eighteen. That's thirteen. Damn, I might need glasses. I might need glasses, y'all. <laughs> Except I can read this little, I can read this little stuff down here. I just don't, maybe it's just that font. Maybe I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm going to save myself by saying it's that font because I can read this down here and it's that's far smaller or at least it's close. Maybe it's a little bit bigger. But but the point about all that is our backers are going up. All right. Twenty nine today, twenty two yesterday, 18, 13. And I hope for us to keep on that trend as we get closer towards the end. So. I don't know where we're at right now. I should probably uh, oh, we're about to cross nine thousand. Are we really about to cross nine thousand? 89.56? Come on, y'all. Let's fucking do it. Let's go. Let's go. Um, there was a picture that I had here that I wanted to, to pull up. Is it this one? Yeah. So I want to talk about this picture because <laughs> this was last year. And I want to talk about this picture because this is... And you can see it in our face. Like, Tombstone's not fucking around. He's going to whoop your ass and then leave a comic book on your body. Me? Like, I'm looking at, like, all right, is he going to wake up? I'm going to run in his pockets. Run that wallet, son. I mean, we were there. We were there to battle. We were, th- we really were there to battle. Uh, but this was, this was that, this was that Dragon Con last year. We had a panel, um, and it was awesome because we had the ability to set up and present and do all the things that a comic book company you would expect them to be able to do, right? And we were really professional, even though we, in a lot of ways, um, certain liberties were taken with our place and our slot and our location that we feel like could have been a lot better. But in the end, what you do with your circumstances is really what makes you because we could have sat in the corner where they kind of put us and not been seen or we could have got up on some real hip hop shit put like you know 50 of each you know or 50 comics in each bag and you know literally walked around Dragon Con and interacted with people and cold sold people like i like to be honest with you walking up to strangers with this comic book in hand i have the most confidence i have the most confidence i dare you not to like this i dare you not to like this when i walk up I got the fresh fade. I'm smiling. I'm looking fresh in the Starfleet uniform. I'm 6'4". I'm in pretty good shape. Hey, man, I could talk to anybody. I don't give a fuck. I'll literally walk to a group of people. I don't know. There's 19 people. I don't give a shit. Like, hey, can I pitch y'all my comic book real quick? I don't care. On the street, in the hotel, at a party. Like, don't care. But... I believe in this that much. If I didn't believe in it, man, I would be like, man, I'm not talking about this. I'm not pitching this. So we were there and we got a chance to talk about. So there was about an audience of about 30 or 40 people in there. I mean, it wasn't crazy because they kind of, you know, placed us in a weird spot, whatever. Try not to bury Tombstone. You know me. I'm trying not to bury anybody (laughs) for the record. Jesus Christ. But, um, but still, we had the ability to have our uh, our images. We played some videos. I think we played our original trailer, which I am going to play 
our new trailer for the Kickstarter campaign uh, pretty soon. But we got a chance to play through our video, play through some of the music. We showed people that there was music associated with the comic and that there was a direct tie-in that we could wrap from the perspective of our characters. And then from that perspective, legitimize the reality that we were creating. Because now you heard it. You didn't just see it. Oh, but you see it too. And now we're making you think about it. There is a lot of different things that we did on that presentation. And here's the craziest thing about that presentation. Got a standing ovation from everybody in the room, which we're normally used to. Every time we perform, we, we, we usually perform well. Um, we didn't plan that. We didn't plan that. We didn't even plan the presentation. We put it together on the fly. Like... We didn't, we didn't even have, like, we ad-libbed it. And if you notice on our faces, we were kind of irritated by the fact that they did kind of what they did. Uh, whoever was responsible for it. I don't know who directly was responsible for it, but it was still one of those things where it's like, okay. <laughs> yes, we sold a lot of books. We sold, all, we sold all the books we brought. We sold all the hoodies we brought. We sold almost all the shirts we brought. We didn't bring enough stuff, to be honest with you. And that's not trying to brag. I'm not trying to brag. What I'm really just bringing up is that there's a demand for this. You know? I know it can sound like we're bragging. But it's, to me, there's just value in recognizing that there is a lot of people who see this and are like, Hey, man, those characters look interesting. Tell me more about them. And you got literally 10 seconds to win them over, depending on what they look like, what they're dressed like, what they sound like, what they sound like they're interested in. Like, sometimes I don't even talk about Gray and Malik. I don't talk about Extropy and Entropy. I talk about Zillith. Do you know how many people I pitch Zillith to? And Vespe and the Qlex and, you know, uh, Omniversal Block Cosmology and, like, all that stuff. Like, I, I, I'm not, there are times I don't even pitch Gray and Malik. Because the story, it's about them, but it's not really, it, it's about them, but it's not about them. doesn't have to be about them. It is about them, but it also isn't about them. <laughs> it isn't just about them. That's the best way to put it. There's a whole bunch of people who are affected by the actions in the fulcrum point. You guys are going to see that initial issue zero, the fulcrum point, those actions are going to have lasting ramifications for the end of time in our reality. That's never going away. That's never going away. So like in going into the future, all storylines and branches and shit will lead back to this one incident. This one incident that took place that probably may or may not should have happened or whatever, depending on how you, you know. But yeah, so we greatly, greatly appreciate that. I do want to get to the live stream, but I want to talk about something real quick. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll do it after the trailer because I want to talk about this uh, this vinyl crates thing. And it's it's nothing bad. I just want to update people and show people, you know, literally what's going on and, and when that's supposed to come out. Literally supposed to be shipping out on Monday. Finally, everything's supposed to be done, but... I want to show everybody when I did what I did and when they did what they did. Because I, this ain't on me. Like, I know people probably want me to own this shit and be like, oh, yeah, it's me. And, and no, trust me, this ain't on me. I, I'm going to show y'all receipts. So, oh, I felt great. All right, uh, let's go to the trailer. Whoops, sorry, that's a bit loud. Yeah, next time we'll uh, we'll make sure that that uh, the logo sound is is not as loud in the beginning because I think it's a lot louder than the rest of the video. Oh yeah, let me. Oh, you know what? That's not even the right thing. It's this. 
And I got to turn this off. All right. Sorry, y'all. That could have been way smoother. SB Czar Brady, Aeonian Minister Supreme, presented evidence to the council suggesting that Gray of Extropia may have breached a treaty regarding band unification technology. Consequently, Lord Malik dispatched a fleet to investigate, but the Extropians saw this as an act of aggression and retaliated by attacking the Entropic fleet. To avoid a full-scale war, Malik decides to confront Gray directly at his moon lab. However, the situation takes a dangerous turn when their confrontation damages the unification device, opening a rift that transports them to another reality. In the upcoming issue one, Clash of Consequence, things have worsened in their own reality with Lord Entropy's power-hungry nephew, Decaeus, seizing the Entropic Throne and declaring war on the Extropians while aiming to eliminate the rightful heir, Chaos. As Grey and Malik struggle to survive in an alternate reality and Decaeus threatens to destroy everything they hold dear in their own, they must set aside their differences and work together if they hope to persevere. So I think I can speak for Joseph and Graydon when I say we are super excited to bring you this next issue. And I want to take a moment to express some gratitude for all the people to help support our first Kickstarter the last time, because we simply could not have done any of that without your help. And if you're as excited as we are about this next issue, and I hope you are, please consider backing us and making this project a reality. Every pledge counts, no matter how big or how small, and we thank you in advance for your support. Greetings, majestic ones. So reflecting on our journey as a comic book company, I am incredibly excited to speak to you about the state of our business and our plans for the future. I do want to take a moment to acknowledge all of the original people who supported the first Kickstarter campaign that we did for the Fulcrum Point. Major milestones since our inception, such as raising $6,288 for our initial Kickstarter campaign, which allowed us to release our pilot issue of Extropy and Entropy, the Fulcrum Point, digitally and physically, and overall expand the visibility of our company. To see us do that in that way, it, it was mind blowing. And I believe that we are obligated as a company to make sure you guys get the best quality content because you guys support so much. Uh, every single one of you guys made it possible for us to be a company and without you we would not be or we wouldn't be in our current iteration so we are grateful we are appreciative and we are humbled by you guys' support so i want you guys did you guys get like a dropout Did it drop off for you guys? I don't, I don't know if it, it did or not. Yeah, I saw that. Like, I looked over, and it was at zero. And I was like, what the hell? And I think it has something to do with Discord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, anyway, I was just thinking the whole company and shit. But I will say, those uh, Majestic Comic shirts are dope. <laughs> yeah, we did get some buffer. Okay, well... Uh, I'm glad you guys told me because I mean, shit, that was uh, wasn't the greatest. But so we're at uh, 189, or I'm sorry, uh, 89.56 at 157. Uh, who's gonna be that? Uh, who's gonna be that nine thousandth player? Who's gonna be the player? Uh, also, we're gonna cover this as well. Somebody asked about the Patreon. Patreon is uh, patreon.com slash Majestic Comics. And I know Tombstone posted that earlier, but um, it's definitely legit. Let's see here. So let's talk about this vinyl thing. So as you can see here, the estimated shipping date for the vinyl is May 24th, 2023. Now, let me show you. This is on record what happened. Right. Project created, created the project November 28th, set up and pay December 19th. So it's, it's showing the dates that I did these things. Right. 
So every date that there is a a um, a date tag, that's the date in which things were updated, right? This is their update system. So November 28th to the 19th, I ended up paying for it, right? Because that's they said you have to basically pay for it within a month. So I'm like, okay. So then preparation for production, January 19th. Look at this production difference right here. There's three months of production time. January to March. January 19th to March 14th. Right? Get the test press. Art confirmation. I got the test presses. I did the art confirmation on the 22nd. So, I mean, you know, it isn't crazy. It's like eight days, but I did listen to them for eight days just to make sure, like, the shit was, was popping. And it was good. So I, I sent the art confirmation in on March 22nd. So this literally is March, April, May when it's supposed to be estimated shipping. Like, crazy. So that's what's going on with that. That's going out on Monday. Should be here within the week, and then I can actually start shipping them out to the people who ordered them. Um, I apologize for how long this has taken. I hate the fact that it's taken this long. It's, it's really like kind of, you know, kind of, but, but at the end of the day, I've been 100% transparent about where this stuff is, you know, what the status is on everything. So if you have any more questions or if anybody has any more questions, you know, you could always refer them to this video or I'll just answer them. I'll take a picture. I usually just take a picture and send it to them I'm like, hey, this was the this was the timeline. But the next time I do this, the next time I do vinyl, it will be from somewhere. Um, that is a domestic and B has a shorter turnaround time because that's to me, that's crazy. That's crazy as hell. Yeah. Uh, no, the, yeah, the, well, the lyric books are going to be sent out with the, um, yeah, the lyric books, I mean, that's, that's easy to actually to finish. That's just finishing up my, my main thoughts and putting the lyrics in the right kind of arrangement and stuff like that. So um, that should not be too big of an issue, and that will be going out with the, with the vinyl as well. And if not, you'll get it shortly after. But yeah, yeah, we're, uh, how, how long have we been on? Yes, lyric books will be sold separately as well. Cool. I think it's time for a music break. Freethinker94 says, I'm excited. I love comics. That's awesome. And remember, we still got 15 days to go. So if you can't do it now, you got 15 days to still get in. It's okay. And we're 30 away from 9K, y'all. We're 30 away from 9K. Like, you guys are doing that. You guys are Majestic Comics. It ain't just us. It's all of us. Just like GU became a community thing, I believe that's what Majestic is going to be. It's going to be like an identity that people have. Like, you know, you meet those Marvel fans, and they're really obnoxious. And you meet those Star Wars fans, and they're really obnoxious. You know, because Star Trek fans are never obnoxious, ever. And, um... It's like, you're like, damn, I, I wish I could just have my own shit and just be different from all these people. And then you show up one day and they're like, yo, that shirt is crazy. I've never seen that before. What is that from? You're like, yo, it's Majestic shit. Majestic? What is that? Oh, it's Majestic. Majestic Comics. Here, pop this on them. Boom. And they're like, yo, I don't know what this is, but, or they could hate on us. They could be like, this is butt cheese, chili. Oh, 9,000. Hey, 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 look at that. We are 9K. I should probably make myself bigger, huh? They love it that I'm speaking for those with need to sneak aboard the secret stored mothership. Tombstone the dead man. Structure. Look at that. We are at 9K. That's pretty crazy, you guys. I mean, I don't know if I'm supposed to be really, really excited jumping all over or if I'm supposed to be real cool and muted, but 
I don't really know how to feel. I mean, I am so impressed and I'm proud to be a part of this. But I also think we're going to look back on this and be like, I can't believe we raised 18,000, you guys. I can't believe we raised 18. Like, that's what this looks like. We're halfway through the marathon, y'all. Grand Unified. No one should ever doubt this community. We can really, we could really raise money for anything as a community. Think about this. If next month we ran another campaign, and you knew you were only going to get five dollars, right? But for every person's project, it would get funded as long as you were in the queue of funding. There's a, a whole subreddit that does that shit. I think it's called like secret, secret, secret donations or secret sponsors or some crazy shit like that. Like it, it's like it's like Secret Santa, but they give each other money, and they like. Somebody like tells them like, hey, yo, man, like I'm going through some hard times right now. I take care of my mother. I've been taking care of my mother for like fucking, you know, four years. She's been sick and it's been really tough. And then they all fucking kick in together and they do some stuff like this. But it's it's like hundreds of thousands of dollars. It ain't it ain't because that, that subreddit has like hundreds of thousands of people and they all chip in. So. But then people question like, well, when's my time going to come up? And you never, you know, so that's the question of like who to fund and when and all that type of stuff what to fund is always the question but there is that level of we could fund things internally not need any outside support from any major labels we don't need marvel we don't need dc we don't need idw boom comics image comics uh uh is that the only ones is that the only comic book companies dog we're gonna kill it (laughs) like we're gonna kill the comic book space Vegeta gonna be scared of y'all now? Yeah, Doc, you don't want the work. Vegeta don't want the work. Not with not with Gray and, and Malik. We we got them dudes. Uh Shane's Worlds. Peace, peace. Welcome, welcome. John Gray. Hey Graydon, love your work. Appreciate it, John Gray. Love your work. Or thank you for loving my work. I don't know if you have work, but I appreciate you for saying you love mine. 9,000. That's crazy. So we are what? Four and a half times. So that's 450%, right? Is that what that is? Oh, wow. That's huge. And the trending is crazy because I know the trending is going to reset by tonight and it's going to be like, nah, dog, you guys are, you guys are butt. So right now we're at 88.77 on kick track, 9,000 on the actual page, but it's like, okay, let's just assume we actually reach the 18. Let's talk about where your money would go, right? Because people want to be like, are they going to just be, you know, buying gold, you know, teeth for their mouths and spending it on cheap floozies and stuff? Nah, not going to happen. You know what's going to happen? More art more issues more quality an app like we can make sure the app is fucking ridiculous and uh, like we've been working on this app behind the scenes now for we've been talking about it for years but the app is it's gonna be crazy some people know about it some people don't if you know about the app then you know but we believe that There is a weakness in the traditional comic book industry. It's a reason why their pay model right now or their revenue stream right now is their movies. They don't really make money from selling comic books. We believe we can make money from selling comic books. And it's not just based on the art. It's not just based on the um, the quality of the art or people's just ideological dedication to the company. It's for a real unique reason. Dan Hope says this community is amazing. Not Austin, Majestic Comics to the moon. That'd be crazy. Any type of moon play. Dan Hope says let's pump it past 10K, y'all. 
so you know what okay so uh, i'm not I'm, I'm just gonna float this idea and uh feel free to stab it in the heart whether it be uh, publicly or privately but uh this is how that whole stock op that stock uh shit happened on reddit where people got together and they were like man fuck the system we just gonna fucking work together they work together right so you mean to tell me that the federal reserve and all these banks and shit don't work together you mean to tell me that Wall Street and Congress and shit don't work together? They can work together, but we can't? So we can't get together and collude to go after a certain stock and hold a certain stock. But they can collude to where they can work around the laws and not have to pay whatever taxes for making that money by working around the laws? Like, oh shit. Come on, man. Nah. <laughs> we ain't having that. We ain't having that. Hey, you know what? If this thing goes to 18K, and thank you so much, Odd, although um, we'll have to have a talk about pledging your last six bucks. Uh, yeah, I, I am. What we have to understand is that this is not money to spend on things. Right? This is money to be used to be invested in the progression and the visibility of this company so that we can justify an animated series right what if in a year in some change we're able to do an animated series that's like invincible like i watch invincible and i haven't watched the series all the way through from start to finish but i watch it in clips so that i can see how they do their animation and the tone that they set like our art is different so our animation will be slightly different. But imagine us with that same tone. You know, when people fight, it's like, yo, people will die. It is raw. And, you know, it may not be crazy, super crazy, rated R, rated X sort of shit. It's not that. It's definitely not that. You know, because we have people who their kids read the comic. And so it's not, we don't have any profanity, right? People aren't just swearing. There's no crazy swear words and c words and f words and you know f words and you know none of that stuff right um but it is like from a violence perspective there are scenes where you know people do die in extropy and entropy that is a thing uh so yeah that is invincible comics image image they do really good comics uh dan hope very very much appreciate your support my friend uh, I will see you next week on Monday. We will be back on Monday on the stream. I might do a Star Citizen stream on um, Sunday. So I did figure something out on Star Citizen where I can. Looks like my OBS, my real OBS, not my Streamlabs OBS, which is a whole other conversation. But um, looks like my OBS will be able to run it and run it pretty decently. So I might start streaming Star Citizen. 3.19 is really good. Uh, the game is running pretty damn good. I mean, it, it's there's been a couple of server crashes or server outages and a couple of things, but that's normal gaming type shit. But uh, since the 319 patch dropped, it's been pretty damn good. So the jury's out. We'll, st we'll wait and see. Damn, I wish this was update because this is this is trending at 18346 off of this number. But I wonder if it's probably not going to go up that much higher. Probably like to 19,000 or something. But 443% of our goal trending towards 900%. Trending towards 900%, y'all. Is Tombstone still here? Bum, bum, bum. That's wild. And also, remember. We got to this point with the fucking obstacles of Facebook, which now for will forever be known to henceforth as LexCorp. Meta will be known as LexCorp, straight up. Evil LexCorp. They are straight up LexCorp at this point. Totally down for Star Citizen stream, been having a bunch of issues. If not, see you Monday. Yeah, that'd be really fun. We haven't had a chance to do any uh, live streaming with that because 
the quality of, of streaming Star Citizen is tough when your computer, I mean, my computer's not that crazy powerful. I mean, it does have dual, you know, eight or whatever, 16 or gig, you know, graphics cards or whatever they got. And they're good they're for when the game's running, but it doesn't also double. I want to get a dedicated streaming system. So that's what I want to do. Paul Jackson, peace, peace. Oh, you got Star Citizen? Uh, you might have a name that I don't recognize, uh, but uh, send me a message on um, send me a message on Discord. Oh, you did? You changed your uh, your handle? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We uh, we hit 9K about 10 minutes ago. But we're still celebrating, brother. We're still celebrating. I went on an epic financial rant about funding things and how we're going to fund the new space station for us all to live on. 158. Living in a city on the tide forever. Insightful as ever. Resident. Yeah, my I mean, I listen to certain things uh that's not G U related, but it's not rap. Like I don't listen to any rap that's not real G U. I mean, okay, I take that back. There are some like old school shit, certain playlists of certain rap that I do have, so I I can't say that. Uh but most of the time I'm listening to like Afrobeat and fucking, you know, podcasts and you know, classical and shit like that With conversion, it's $9,006.66. I, I love you guys' fascination with the 666 thing. <laughs> doesn't really mean much to me as an atheist, but, uh, you know, I still find it hilarious. Man, I've been listening to Nova crazy lately. This has literally been a song on repeat for me. I don't know what it is. Shout out to Soundwave Zero for this dope ass beat. Star 
surface exterior. Lost in the infinite cosmos, consistent with models. Distant from hydrogen rich material energy that, that I want to borrow. Classify cataclysmic. Battle crash, another scientific quantity blizzard, bright and vivid fire, spitting super delindus event, taking off in the distance. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. I'm ejecting a thick mass in a flurry. A classical leap in a fusion and gravity. Massive magnitude and flashes occur. Yeah, he deserves a Grammy for this shit. With heavy elements making up my lunch. Pressure increased due to a creepy helium. Unique as I'm, I only do this once. Dying desire in spite of the ire. So he's setting light to the pyre. A mind even higher can shine even brighter to finally inspire the tiniest wire. Used to see meaning as dire. The glow is to open your eyes and even less time to. Uh, I like the Lucifer comic way more than I like the Lucifer show. Gleaming aside, like Lucifer comic is the greatest story ever. Uh, it's the greatest comic book I've ever read for sure. Red giant white dwarf locked in embrace, shocked in embrace. I'll make sure your telescope is locked into place. Damn, I can't wait to write Supernova. I gotta start writing that. I gotta get on these albums. Like, okay, think about this. And I've never done this before, right? But what if I ran a Kickstarter to fund Last of the Rhyme Lords? And all those features would be funded by the community, right? And you see some of the names that I want on that list. And we just fucking go after them, right? Now, honestly, I'm gonna wait until I make money in other places than hip hop and then just, you know, say, hey, you wanna do a record? Fuck it, whatever fee you got, we'll figure it out. But um, I just like making music on my own terms and making writing stories on my own terms. It's pretty crazy, though. All right, let's go to uh, monologue front cam. Doom, do, do. Yeah, I can't wait for the next season of Sandman, too, because the person that they casted for Lucifer was the, the chick that played Brienne of Tarth on Game of Thrones. She was one of the few bright spots of that show for me. Like, I hated that show. I absolutely despise Game of Thrones. And she was one of the few things about that show that I remember being like, yeah, she's really cool. Like, I want her to kick all the ass, slay all the dudes. You know what I mean? Yeah, she's great. She's fucking great as Lucifer. Yeah, you ain't missing nothing. I mean, I feel the way about Game of Thrones is the way I do feel about, what, the Orville? Oh, she is. She's Isn't she the head uh, head headmaster or the dean or whatever of the school in Wednesday? Is that her? And I've only seen like five of those episodes, six of those episodes. So maybe I need to watch the rest of that. But yeah, no, she's great. She's awesome. Um, looks like we're going to cross 9,000 and 160 tonight. So those are two landmarks that we're definitely going to cross. Um, I want to thank everybody, too. Everybody who's involved with this project. Everybody who helps the company. All of our um, consultants. All of our writing consultants. All of our design consultants. Um, our technology consultants web consultants like we have we have got a nice team and so just so you guys know you know this this goes towards funding that endeavor and the decisions that we make will be based on you know what do our fans want in content and how they want to receive that content and then where can we go find more people who are like the fans that we already have retention and growth retention and growth i want to retain the people that we have and give them exactly what they want and what they fell in love for, with being here at majestic but i also want to find new people who are just looking for some newer shit and looking for something ill like that's where we're going with it commander broken peace peace
Mm. How much time we got? We got a Norch? I'm trying to Norch up. Mr. Broken. Oh, um. Oh, I think I already talked about Star Citizen being dope right now. I will say this. There's a lot of people who really like this uh, Leighton Buxman cover. And just the fact that people are really feeling it. It's uh, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. Do I want to play together? I don't know if I'm going to have time tonight, man. I got to do some work. Right now, during this Kickstarter campaign, I probably have less time to be able to play and do stuff like that. But when this is over, you know I'm back in the chair tough. I mean, you know I'm going to be at formation. Like, I'm at all formations. But uh, still, it's still one of those things where it's like, when I'm not in the chair, I, I got to make sure I, we get this. At this pace, we will probably reach 20,000 in 15 days. I think we can reach 20,000 in the next 15 days, you guys. And that changes. That's not just breaking into five digits. That's now breaking into the 20,000s and whatnot. And it just it changes who we have access to, what we have access to, how we can get a hold of certain people with certain people, certain types of art. We want to do small animation, you know, test run, little things. Like, there's so many things that we can do. And in return, as you guys see on the left and the right of me, we're going to give you the best art. We're going to try to give you a fascinating story. Oh, is it broken today? Interesting. Yeah, I had an issue yesterday, but I also was able to join yesterday. So. But we will be at Dragon Con. So if you guys are planning on coming to Dragon Con, you should probably get your dicks now because we are. Uh, and we will definitely be down there hawking comics. September 1st, September 5th. I think that's Labor Day weekend. You know what's funny is I always say September 1st to September 5th just because it's easier to say it than August 31st. To say. But I knew it was August 31st. I just my, I was my face was so lazy I didn't even want to say it. I was just like mm -hmm, blah, blah, blah. forget it. <laughs> so we're looking for well how much time we got? Uh, I'm sorry I keep asking that. I should just pull it up real quick because I want to make sure. So we're at. 147. So we're coming up on time, right? And we're too short of we're too short of the 160 mark. Now, not that I'm going to be a, a little stickler here, but it would be really nice if not only did we break 9k today, but we would break 160 today. Because the goal that I set earlier today, at when I when I woke up this morning, I set the goal at 150. I said we should be at 150 by the end of the day. By closing. By close of business, we should be at 150. And I think we're going to be probably closer to 161, 162 at close of business. And our close of business is like 8. <laughs> 8 at night, West Coast time. So, yeah, I'm bringing my Donatella suit. I'm bringing my Starfleet uniform. And I might bring some other shit. I just, you know. Ocala Comic Con? What's Ocala? Where's Ocala? <laughs> Alright. Final Norse down then. Let's do Final Norse down early. The Final Norse down. 
Do, 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 do. I'll use this. Let me move this out of the way. Oh, I'm going I'm to show up as Donnie. Are you kidding me? I'm showing up as Donatello. I got to find all my little Donatello shit, though. Listen, I'll tell you what. If we get to 20,000, I might show up as a Zulu warrior, dog. I might just go all out. See, I thought about doing the Shaka Zulu thing, but then I'm like, I don't want to be Shaka Zulu. I just want to be a Zulu warrior. See, I got to tie that to something different. Uh, to, there, aren't, there aren't enough people who want to pay to see me as that to where it moves the needle. So you're like, oh, well, you know, that's that's not incentive. You know, so it's all good. All right. So let's do some uh, final Norch down. And we will end this Friday on a high note. You guys are incredible, fantastic. We don't do a lot of funding campaigns often. You know, we do have our Patreon, and that is a thing, right? Uh, if you want to. So after this, after this Kickstarter campaign in 15 days, we're going to start posting a lot of the stuff that we didn't make as part of the pledge in the Patreon. So if you're a Patreon backer, you know, that's an optional thing. You don't need to. It's one of those things where if you want to support, you get extra stuff extra posts and extra podcast stuff. But uh, it is one of those things to where if you miss out on this and you want to support that, that's fine. If you want to support that and you don't want to support this, that's fine. If you don't want to support either and you just want to share it, that's fine too. But every little bit helps, as you guys can tell. And with the massive engagement from this community, massive engagement, then all things are possible all things are possible we can get our anime we can get our anime we can get our anime just gonna take consistency and it's just gonna take the best quality work every single time gotta get better every every single time every single time every single time so let's smoke up on this bowl final north down style i'm gonna get out of here i'm gonna um tombstone you trying to uh quick uh, office sprint into the day also get the digital uh, tombstone says you also get the digital comic of each issue for being a member of our patreon yes that is very true as well you also get the digital comic of each issue for being a member of our patreon so if you do want to subscribe in that way that's totally all right as well motivation gets you started discipline keeps you going hey that sounds good to me we're at 158 if we get those last two i mean it's okay if we don't but jesus what a day we woke up weren't we in the 7000s yesterday it's like we completely skipped over the eight i think we completely skipped over the eights the eights weren't we're here and we're like i don't even remember the eights i remember the sevens I remember the sevens. I remember getting into the sevens when we crossed over six. Because remember, our peak last time was 6280 or something like that. I can't ever remember the number. But it was in the 6200s. And it's like, okay, yeah, yeah. People were, were definitely feeling it. But we definitely have to expand. We have to make sure that the, there are more people who would be interested in it who have access to it. And you would be, you, you know, you wouldn't be surprised. But... There are so many people who I will message who are like, hey, man, I just trust your creativity. Like, you're, you're I, I love your music. I love the things that you're a part of. All your side product, projects and products are dope. I just trust your creativity, you know? And then when you're with somebody like Tombstone, who has his own fan base and his own people who fuck with him for their own reasons, and then they come on board and they're like, yeah, I like when y'all do shit together, then that just makes it easier for us to succeed. So, all right, let's uh, let's hit this bowl real quick. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we're about to end this right on time. Damn, I posted and we were in 84. <laughs> That's so crazy.
Oh, yeah. No, Rudy for sure. All right. Well, let's Norch up, and then I will see you guys later. Ooh, that's good. Peace, peace. I'll see you guys later. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to stream tomorrow, too. So take no days off. No days off during this Kickstarter campaign. All right, y'all. Peace, peace.